August. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, okay. So for today's video, we are in the car. We're gonna go get something to eat and we're gonna chat. My friend Jesse, who you've seen in my vlogs, has got me goddamn obsessed with Taco Bell. So today, we're gonna go get us some Taco Bell. And I'm also. I am obsessed with the Baja Blast Freeze. I know it's like really old news, but I just had one a few months ago and I'm obsessed. I'm also holding down my camera with Instant Tacky. I am also going crazy because I haven't really eaten today and I had a lot of coffee. So let's go. If this falls, oops. I just hit my dad's car. That's good. I just hit my dad's car. Oh my God, why am I? Why am I like this? So, there is minimal damage, but we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Goodbye. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go drive. I'm not gonna vlog and drive because, all right, guys, it's that time. Yay! Woo! Okay. That's good. Okay, I'll give you a haul. First, we have the cinnamon twists. I've never actually had these. Oh, mm, I'm not gonna lie, they're good. Okay, I guess the first thing we're gonna buy into is the Crunch App Supreme. I got this completely vegan. No cheese, no beef, no meat. I'm so hungry. Mm. I'm sitting in like the sus part of the parking lot, like all the way in the back where there's like no cars. <laughs> Okay, so let's get down to business. I mentioned in my college experience video that I got a nose job and I got some comments asking me to touch up on that to sort of talk about my experience. So in this video, I will be Taco Bell and nose job. Thumbnail time. I got a bean burrito too. So in May of 2015, this was the summer before going into my junior year, the summer before transferring to yet another college. And I said to my parents, I think I want a nose job I think it's this, I think this is the time my whole life growing up I hated my nose if you don't know my ethnicity is Lebanese and Greek growing up I hated my nose but not only that I had really bad breathing problems and I also snored really bad so that summer I said I think we should schedule this appointment I think we should schedule a consultation to get my nose fixed Hi, yes, I also just want to make it extremely clear that I was not only getting the insides and my nasal part fix, but I was also doing it for cosmetic reasons as well. Also, isn't this a great like little screen grab? <laughs> so my parents and I did our research. We found a surgeon and we headed that way. I'm also going to remind you that during this time, my self-esteem was at an all-time low. And I think that's why in my head, I'm like, let's get the surgery. It's going to be great. It's going to fix me. I went to a consultation, talked to the surgeon, he told me exactly what he was gonna do. He didn't try to like sugarcoat it, which was really nice. He just said, this is what I'm gonna do, and this is what I'm not gonna do, and this is what I advise you to do. So I had my appointment in May. We scheduled the surgery to be in June, and then June comes. I'm like feeling good, but also so nervous. He said it took four hours. So basically what he said he was gonna do is he was going to shave down, because I had a bump, and then build up the tip, because it was like too round or something. In my opinion, it looks a little too pointy, and this is like hard as a rock. And then he built up the cartilage inside shaved my turbinances basically was going to fix my breathing issues hey brothers so we are back in the car because i realized i left out so much information i was so overwhelmed with hunger that i told the story like i was on crack so we're here my hair also looks like it's on crack i felt really bad i didn't want to give you some shitty photo booth story time so we're going back to taco bell and we're getting food and we're going back to the same spot to finish the story so Dedication, yes. <laughs> Maybe give you some ASMR tingles along the way. Who knows? Hi, can I have um, two orders of the cinnamon, cinnamon twists? I had a brain fart. All right, here we are back again in terrible lighting in the same parking spot that I was in last time. And we also have cinnamon twists. 
Yum. So the day of the surgery comes and I'm freaking out. I did not sleep the night before, so I was so sleep deprived, but all that adrenaline running through me did not even matter. We get to the hospital about 7 a.m. and they take me in and they have to prep me. So basically what they do is they took me into this little room, made me undress. They put me in a little skimpy hospital gown. The anesthesiologist came in and talked to me, asked me about my allergies and all that stuff because they have to be really careful when they put you under. The surgeon came and talked to me, told me what he was going to do. And I remember them rolling me into the room and I remember them transferring me from the rolly gurney to the operating table. I couldn't see anybody because I didn't have contacts or glasses on. And then they gave me the mask that has the anesthesia in it and they were like give us two big breaths in and then I did the second breath and then boom I remember just being completely out like a light and then the next thing I know my eyes are shut but I can hear like people around me and sh things shuffling around and I'm like okay I think I think the surgery's done and they're like Kaylee wake up and my eyes are still really closed I don't remember being in any physical pain oh I forgot to mention so the anesthesiologist told me that when you go under we're gonna insert a tube into your throat that goes all the way down into like your lungs or something and then we'll take it out before you wake up my throat I, I remember the first thing after surgery when I woke up my I, I remember my throat just literally being on fire it felt like I had strep and for like a week after that my throat was so sore because it felt like I deep-throated a rusty pipe but honestly out of all the pain that was probably the worst and the only type of discomfort I felt was I was so groggy like I remember leaving the hospital in a wheelchair and I was just like that was me i really did not come to until i was sitting on my couch like a few hours later i remember i didn't know where my phone was i didn't know where anything was like i was just sitting there like in my living room like <sighs> and the anesthesia affects everyone differently i remember the most uncomfortable was at night when i could not sleep on my stomach on a scale of one to ten for pain i honestly want to say a zero on an uncomfortable scale of one to ten i want to say like a seven the doctor was like worst case scenario it'll feel like you have a really bad sinus infection and that's exactly what it felt like i just kind of felt like i couldn't breathe i was so surprised on how breezy the recovery was my anxiety was kind of high because i don't really like being uncomfortable <laughs> I'm a pussy. So then I think like a week and a half later, I had my first post-op appointment. He took off the cast, cleaned out my nose. So right after the appointment, I honestly really started to like my nose. So I kind of want to go into how I felt post-op, like right after the first post-op appointment. In hindsight, I definitely have body dysmorphia. I don't really know what I look like. It's really hard to sort of get a good, like good image in my head, like a mental image of what I look like. Like I obviously see photos and stuff, but sometimes I'm like, wow, I look like that. I felt I look like this so it's like really hard to sit down and really comprehend what I look like it's very hard if you don't have body dysmorphia it can be kind of hard to describe and to sort of um understand and at the time I had the surgery is probably when my body dysmorphia was at its absolute worst everything started to go downhill right after my first post-op appointment I'm not gonna sit here and blame the doctor I'm gonna sit here and blame myself because of the way that I thought my nose was gonna look after so the doctor told me exactly what he was going to do and did exactly that but for some reason in my head because of the body dysmorphia I thought it was going to look different and I thought I was going to be this beautiful I mean I am beautiful but I thought I was gonna be I don't even know to be honest like I I don't even know what I was thinking a week after the surgery I was like I love my new nose but if you've ever had surgery you would know that you literally aren't gonna know what the exact nose looks like until at least a year after the surgery because it's gonna be extremely swollen and then a whole month after the surgery is when like my whole life went downhill I'm gonna show you my ID photo for school that was literally a month post off I was so swollen I thought I was going to permanently look like that but like I look like this now which is good I made myself crazy I also had never been so observant of my face before I literally was looking at my nose by all hours of the day I cannot even tell you how many pictures I took of my nose my friends hated me I would constantly be asking my parents and my friends for reassurance I was like does it look like this why does it look like this I drove them crazy obsessing over my nose whole six months after I got my surgery it became everything that I was focused on looking back now I don't know if I should have even gotten the surgery only because I was mentally not good for it and on top of that I still have breathing issues I still can't breathe I think I'm gonna have to get a second surgery for that just because it's so hard to breathe still and it's getting to the point where I'm so frustrated with it so as far as the physical features go I was a wreck probably the darkest time of my life as of right now I've actually really grown to like my nose don't get plastic surgery thinking it's gonna fix you because it didn't if it Anything it made my life even more miserable than it was. I just sat there all hours of the day, cried about my nose, just talked about how ugly I was. No 
matter what anyone said, my mom was like, Kaylee, it's only been three months. Like, you have to recover still. You're still gonna be swollen. I hated myself. I literally woke up, would cry over my nose, take pictures of my nose, talk to my family about my nose, obsess over my nose. Like, my life became about my nose. It was disgusting. It was disgusting and awful. And I'm glad I had the surgery because it also taught me self-worth. If you would have asked me a year ago if it was a good idea to have surgery, I would have said no. But now, looking back on it, it also taught me that surgery isn't gonna fix anything because like I want to get my boobs done my boobs sag and I'm 22 like what the fuck but it's like wait hold on like obviously I'm not knocking plastic surgery like if you want to get it get it you know get plastic surgery but you have to be in the right mindset for it or else it's really gonna fuck you up it's gonna fuck you up I also just want to say really quick that it was not easy overcoming this like I literally thought I was going to be an ugly piece of shit for the rest of my life after this surgery but after basically a little over two years I can successfully say I think I've basically overcome if you're struggling just know there's hope a lot of self-help books a lot of therapy medication you know it all <laughs> if I didn't cover something that you have a question about leave it in the comments and I will get to it the actual surgery and the recovering process was so painless but all the pain was up here like, <laughs> I know that sounds cheesy as hell. Honestly, you can't even really tell. Like, some people are like, you had a nose job. I didn't, I didn't even know. But it's like, to me, it is so different. I took to social media and was like, ask me questions. My friend Emma asked, do you have photos of them doing the surgery? I don't have them, like, in the operating room. But my mom, <laughs> this bitch took photos of me right when I came out of surgery. And I'm like, I look like a fucking zombie. Like a dead human on the table. Thank you so much for watching my goofy ass life. Like always, if you have any questions about anything, not just about nose jobs, my DMs are always open to talk and listen. I love you. Goodbye.